supposed to happen this way. I was supposed to get the prince. I got a frog. What the hell? First of all, I don't I don't know who he is at all, but he's tall and he's hot. <laughs> Welcome back to Romance Review TV with Lady T. And we have a new show to review. The One That Got Away, Season 1, Episode 1 on Amazon Prime. And it is a good one. And some of these folks are happy to see someone from their past to date. Others, not so happy. And we're going to unpack all of this in this episode. So before we do, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. You like the video, smash that like button. And also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So yeah, we got to unpack this and let's get started. So the show is called The One That Got Away. It is on Amazon Prime where we have six singles who are going going to be reunited from people from their past whether it is no classmate a stranger a co-worker anybody entering the portal that missed the connection with these singles and our host betty who gives you an idea of what's this about what if the person you're meant to spend your future with is from your past made to at a kind stranger that offered a helping hand and they go through this portal, meet their misconnections, they meet up with the hopefuls, and it gives them an opportunity to take a chance or a shot at love. Now, she's explaining the process and um, letting them know the same things that I just informed you about. They don't know who's coming through that portal in their past. And the first person we're gonna talk about is Vince. So Vince is from Rancho Palos Verdes, California. He's first generation Chinese Taiwanese American. He met his first love at 17. However, after nine years of dating, starting a thriving business together, he realized that they were better off as friends. Now he's a successful lawyer, whether he's suited up in a courtroom or catching a tan playing beach volleyball. More importantly, he's a full time dog dad hoping to find his perfect mom for his dog, Leo. So he's the first one to go through the portal to see who's coming from his past to meet him. Betty tries to keep his noms pretty much at bay and he's excited to see who is this person that has been interested in him. And uh, Vince finally gets his answer. And yes, the name of this gorgeous girl is 29-year-old Manoush. She is a college crush of Vince's and she has not forgotten about him. I honestly think they hit it off really well. He was excited to see her. Um, he thought that she was absolutely gorgeous. She still is attracted to him to this day. And I think she says she's been following him on social media, but I guess she's been hiding in the shadows. So, of course, I'm assuming the producers must have combed each of the participants past to see if anybody would be interested on in coming onto the show. And Manoush is one of those persons. And I mean, they're pretty much hitting it off well. We'll have to see what happened in the future with these two because it gets a little dicey as the season go on. But let's talk about our next person. So next up is Alyssa. Now, she's from Houston, Texas. And growing up in Houston, she never felt like she was able to fit in. Now, it wasn't until college in California that she discovered her passion for fitness and self-care. Well, with doing this, it helped her transform her uh, into this confident woman 
that she is today, okay? We're going to hear a lot more about Alyssa a little bit later. But Alyssa believes in manifestation, and she has been known to keep a list of guys she knows in her journal. She also has this Disney fantasy of a prince and a princess, and he, she's going to meet him, and, you know, this whole thing. So, it was Alyssa's turn to see who's coming through the portal for her, and she is a little excited, scared, but her answers are about to be revealed, and it, <laughs> you guys got to see this. Now, as much as she was excited to find out who it was, his name is Nelson, who's 25, who was, at the time, Alyssa's high school crush. Uh, at this point, I don't think she's too happy about who was coming through her portal at this time. And she made it known throughout the rest of the episode. Um, it's pretty interesting on some of her responses, which we will get to talk about, but I mean, she's so much taller than him and, um, you know, I understand people date different heights, but I don't think this is the person that she was expecting. And, um, she thought that she was looking for a prince, but she said that she had received this instead to happen this way i was supposed to get the prince i got a frog however nelson was optimistic he called himself an optimist he thought this whole thing was going well well he's about to be surprised so next up is nigel he's from los angeles california he is a former college basketball player um, he went from playing basketball to becoming a successful real estate professional. He said that he's tired of playing games when it comes to dating. And, you know, being that he's been successful as being single in L.A., he's tired of underwhelming relationships, the party scenes, attending couples trips with random dates. And he is ready to not only find love, but he wants to be in love. So now it was his turn to go through the portal. And he seemed pretty laid back. Uh, Nigel seems very reserved. And um, he was excited to see who was coming down the pipeline through the portal to meet with him. And this is a very interesting one. Now, this pretty lady is named Alicia. She's 30. The thing about Miss Alicia is that she is a friend of his ex. And she had been feeding over him from the sidelines. So, of course, that's why she is the forbidden love. But pretty much, he thought that she was attractive. Of course, obviously, he's not dating a friend. I'm kind of curious to find out when they leave the show how this is all going to unfold. Because uh, if she is still friends with the girl that he was dating, she probably is going to get the side eye. But for the most part, he thought she was attractive and was looking forward to seeing where this goes. So next up is Jeff from New York City, New York. He is an outgoing, adventurous guy living in New York City. He grew up playing sports as a means to fit in with the straight crowd, he says. Now, Jeff came out accidentally at 21, he says, but it changed his whole life for the better. And today he said he is out proud and living his ultimate dream life. He also started a gay travel blog that connects people from the LGBTQ plus community from all over the world to share their coming out stories because he travels so much for work and mainly meets potential suitors on vacation. Settling down has not you know, been necessarily an option for him until now. So he meets with Betty Wu and it's his turn to see who from his past is interested in him and to see, you know, whether he can build a connection with this person. And he gets his answer right about now. Shut 
<laughs> so this is 29 year old Anthony. He was a confirmation classmate of Jeff. And I'm assuming that's with a Catholic school. So that's how they met that way. And um, he says that he's been thinking about Jeff for a very long time. And when the opportunity, you know, of course, provided it to happen, he was able to connect with him this way. I think they did say they kind of came across each other three years ago where they actually wore the same outfit, but it was in different colors. Um, so far, I do see a connection with these two and uh, they look very happy to see each other to see where this can go. Next up is Casey. Casey is from Guttenberg, New Jersey. Um, Casey has traditional parents, which pushed her to excel at everything that she did from academics to athletics. And she applies that same level of commitment to her career and of course, her relationships. Now, Casey ended her most recent relationship after seven and a half years with a man who she thought she was going to marry. Now, after raising two dogs and a cat together, Casey realized that she needed to put herself first. Now she's looking to make a meaningful connection with someone and she won't shy away from getting exactly what she wants. So it was her turn to now meet someone from the portal and yeah, this doesn't go as she expected. And it was funny to watch, but you guys got to see this. What the hell? First of all, I don't, I don't know who he is at all, but he's tall and he's hot. <laughs> so this tall, hot guy is Dylan, who was casey's work study buddy he's 28 years old and she didn't recognize him and this is the reason why because what she remembered him looking like is nothing like he's looking today so she's you know a fact of the matter it was a stranger in her eyes she realized who it was after you know he told her his name and she was like oh my god you don't look the same i am so but she was happy she was happy that um, it was him. And she said she also never dated somebody this height before. So I could see this one possibly going somewhere. But, um, you know, it's it's a good thing that, you know, she, she really did embarrass herself, she said. But it's a good thing that it was a pleasant surprise on who she met in the portal. And last but not least, it is Ashley from Berlin Center, Ohio. Now, she's from a rural town in Ohio. Um, Ashley always felt like the ugly duckling growing up and spent her free time raising chickens. Now, dating for her has always been a challenge. And after a bad relationship when she was 17, she's found it very difficult to get back in the dating game. Wow, 17. Okay. Um, she's a successful healthcare worker and her dream job she's currently doing as a CT scan technologist, but she's in search of her ideal man. And she also meets up with Betty Who, where she gets to find out who the person is from her past that's coming through the portal and you know she's very reserved but she is excited about who this person is and this is 28 year old kyle and kyle used to work with her at a convention well they were at a convention together and she hurt herself he's a physical therapist and he remember helping her at the time and he has not forgotten about her since i don't know how they this show tracked these people down i'm assuming they went through their social medias or something or put a a list of folks or put a request out there do you know this person but she was pretty happy to see kyle and kyle was most definitely happy to see her i think they make an attractive couple they came in in unison you know cheering on to the other couple so far about the fact that you know they're happy that they were able to come together 
So the rest of the evening when they were mingling with everybody from their past and trying to get to know everybody, everybody was pretty much cool except this whole interaction between Alyssa and Nelson. Alyssa was spazzing. She couldn't believe that everybody got what they wanted and she didn't get what she wanted. She wanted this prince. Where's my prince? I got a frog. And, I mean, she left the group because she wanted to go outside and pretty much cry her eyes out. She was not happy. She was very disappointed in what came through that portal. And she made her anger known. She pretty much told the group when everybody was talking about how they feel about who came through the portal. She said this whole thing was a joke. There is no way that this is the person that I'm supposed to be with. And people are telling her to trust the process. But, you know, she's just not happy in the moment. But it is not over because there are more people from their pasts coming into this house. So it's going to get a little dicey. There are proposals at the end because look like some folks are finding the love of their life. If you haven't checked this out, it's on Amazon Prime. If you have it, I will be doing the recaps here and uh, to keep you guys up to speed. So I hope you've enjoyed this new series recap. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.